Have you found yourself at the crossroads of the terminal world torn between Bash and ZSH? Well, look no further. In this video, we're going to explore their origins, features, ease of use, and more to help you make the right choice for your coding journey. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy, and this channel is all about helping you to become a better developer with the latest tools and techniques. Okay, let's get started. Before we jump into the nitty gritty of Bash versus ZSH, let's lay down some fundamental concepts. A shell, in its simplest terms, is a user interface that allows you to access your operating system services. It's the median through which you input commands and receive the output. A command line interface, CLI for short, is a type of shell where you interact with your computer by typing in commands, as opposed to graphical buttons and menus. Now that we've cleared the basics, let's take a step back in time and learn about the origins of our two subjects for the day, Bash and ZSH. Bash, short for Born Again Shell was introduced in 1998. It was designed as a replacement for the Born Shell, bringing in many features from different shells, thus earning the name of Born Again. Fast forward a few years to 1990, and we see the birth of ZSH. It was created to include features of other shells like the Corn Shell and TCSH, but it also had some improvements of its own. ZSH brought several enhancements, quickly establishing itself as a powerful alternative. Now that we've covered the origins of Bash and ZSH, let's get down to business and compare their features. This is where we really start to see the difference between the two. Bash has been the default shell on Linux and Mac up until Catalina, which was released in October of 2019. Since then, ZSH is the new default on Mac. If you're running Linux, you can easily install ZSH, but the default will almost always be Bash. Both Bash and ZSH offer strong scripting capabilities. And while ZSH is mostly compatible with Bash, in some complex scripts, there may be subtle differences between the two. This makes Bash scripts more portable due to Bash being more widely available and used. Bash scripts can also be run in ZSH shells. ZSH scripts, on the other hand, might have compatibility issues on systems that use Bash. Now let's move on to the interactive features. Both shells offer command history, command line editing, and command completion. But ZSH steps it up a notch with several additional features like shared command history across terminals, better command completion, and customization. When it comes to customization, ZSH stands out. It's highly customizable with themes and plugins, especially when used with Oh My ZSH, a framework for managing the ZSH configuration. I have a video showing you how to customize your ZSH terminal. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go check that out. All right, now that we've compared the features, let's discuss Bash and ZSH in terms of ease of use. It's essential to understand that although features are important, a tool is only as good as your ability to use it effectively. Bash is generally considered to be the easier option for beginners. This is mainly because Bash has been the default shell on Linux and older versions of Mac. So many users are likely to have been introduced to the command line through Bash. Since Bash is so widely used, it may be easier to find resources, tutorials, and community support to help navigate through any challenges you may encounter. There's a vast amount of instructional material that covers everything from the basic Bash commands to complex scripting. At the same time, since Bash scripts can be run in ZSH, making the switch to ZSH doesn't mean you have to leave behind the vast array of Bash resources and tutorials. In fact, much of the knowledge you can gain from Bash tutorials can still be useful in ZSH, given its compatibility with Bash. And there you have it. We've explored the origins of Bash and ZSH, compared their features Features and looked at the ease of use while evaluating their community support and performance. While Bash's widespread use and compatibility make it a reliable choice, ZSH's advanced features are enticing for those looking to level up their command line experience. Remember, there's no one size fits all here. It's all about understanding your needs and picking the right tool for the job. I hope this video has equipped you with the insights to make the right choice. If you found this content helpful, check out this other video where I show you how to upgrade your Mac ZSH shell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.